And we are up to, I think, Giovanni. I think we're up to Giovanni. And so we are playing this until at least 1048 Eastern. 1048 Eastern. It is about having Chad have power, it's true. It's true. Oh, you know what I need though? That I didn't consider? I need the, uh, this. And then window capture, random Pokemon. Okay. Just, uh... Good Lord. Woo! Big boy. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's make sure our registration's empty. Slurp. Check registered Pokemon. Okay, yeah, we gotta delete some of these. <laughs> the return of Hyperbeam. It's true. It's true, we might actually roll into that too. That's on the list. Delete more. We should be good with five. All right, battle, we're up to Giovanni. Rental only, here we go. First up, <laughs> it's good to be back. <laughs> I think I passed it, tentacle. Yeah, all right. Next up, we get Clefairy, <laughs> oh boy. Ah, uh, Clefairy's up. Yep. Nice. Very good. Magneton. Not great in the uh, in the ground gym, but you know. Yep, Sonic Spinball's on there too. Yeah, so this is in numeric, but Pokemon Stadium 2, you could do either A to Z or numeric. You could do either, so you can switch it. I did A to Z because it's faster. Hitmonlee actually might be pretty good. <laughs> Poliwag, not so much. This is going well. <laughs> it's going well. Poliwag, and last but not least, Geodude. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, pr I appreciate your confidence. I <laughs> Gotta admit, not sharing the uh, not sharing the confidence there, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> All right, let's get into the let's get into the rhythm here. So we do have three flying types. Um, Matt, remember that Magneton is actually a um, just pure electric in Generation One, so it does not have Steel type. Uh, so we have three electric types, which pretty much guarantees Magneton comes with us, right? The ma only thing the Magneton's bad against is Parasect, right? It's only Parasect. Thunderbolt on the Clefairy as well with Blizzard, which gives us coverage for the uh, Parasect, which is pretty good. Uh, Hitmonlee's good against Raticate and Persian, bad against uh, Golbat, Dodrio, and Moltres. Uh, Poliwag, good against Moltres, good against the other flying types, really, really bad against Parasect, probably not going to do very well in the normal type matchups either, and I think Geodude is a lock, which is a strange thing for me to say out loud, but I think Geodude's a lock. I think we actually lead with Geodude here, and then Magneton, I feel like it's going to be Clefairy or Hitmonlee, and I think the speed... Explosion, yeah. <laughs> the return of Lisa. <laughs> it's either going to be Clefairy or Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee speed, I think, is going to be the, the tiebreaker for me. I'm going to bring the Hitmonlee. And let's rock and roll. 
Here's the first opponent of this gym series. A decisive victory is expected. Okay. This is good for us overall. We're just going to click rock Earthquake and Rock and Roll. Ah. It has Ice Beam. You like that? I think that's good. Okay. Uh, Geodude's dead. We could switch in something to take the Ice Beam. Don't think that's worth it. So I'm just going to click Explosion. And hope it gets the 1 in 256 chance to miss. Easy flip to Hitmonlee. Oh, it's Hitmonlee! It has to make up for lost ground. How so the only question here is, does it, uh, does it outspeed? Switch? Here's a Pokemon thing. Uh, I don't think so, Ratchet. Oh, it's Pokemon! What now? If anything, more things it's broke. In Pokemon Stadium 1. Will this Pokemon swap <laughs> change the flow of battle? Um, it's going to use Sky Attack, right? Oh, Fly. That's even better. I don't off the top of my head. I think it is, though. Cause like Persian and stuff have like really high chances to crit. I don't know if it's if it's that way or not though. Here comes the aerial attack. Wow, that's an effective hit. Goodbye, Moltres. Awesome counter. Oop, that's a miss. There's a big difference in HP. They're yep, each other specials down. only once that. Yep. I cannot believe it just missed. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Double A. Okay. Yeah. It's is what it is. Oh, it's down. I've been disrespected. There's a difference in the number <laughs> of reserved Pokemon. <laughs> That counter should have knocked out that Moltres. I would have been in great sp or in a great shape. There's only one Pokemon against three. Let's just thunder. The battle has become one side. Assuming to toxic. Oh, toxic! The move failed to clear. Thanks for missing. Hit this, please. Don't miss. Thank you. Fuck. Okay. Come back. Which Pokemon is coming out? Oh, that avatar's been switched for a couple weeks now. <laughs> Here's a Pokemon trick. It's one Pokemon against two now. Uh, we just have to hit Thunder. Combatants so. are making sparks fly. Dig. It's Barrowed Underground. How's that? So, thankfully, in this game, Dig is only 60 power in Gen 1. So, it probably won't knock out the Magneton here. Magneton has a decently high defense. Yeah. Should be okay. Can't miss the Thunder, though. It's for the kids, 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 for the kids. Ah! <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Fly and Dig both got buffed in later generations. Uh, Dig is 80 power now in the more recent generations, and uh, Fly is 90, I think. So they both got buffed by 20 power. How's that? But yeah, Dig was only 60 power in Generation 1. And there goes the battle! That was fast. 
Oh, we would have won too. Whatever. Next up, here we go. First Pokemon, the Executor. Okay. <laughs> I pass it. I passed it. I definitely passed it. There it is. Uh, Hypnosis and Leech Seed. We should be able to play around with that. Oh, God. <sighs> I, I can't have Jinx twice. <laughs> Combo tops. Hey, I just realized they added stadium rentals only to this website that I use. Huh. How about that? Yeah, this one actually has a better shot. Uh, where is Kyle Tops? There it is. Yeah, it's all right. Gold Duck? Which is... Where? There it is. Gold Duck? Has Surf. And next up, Hitmonlee again. Okay, hey, we got a chance. It's gonna be this first team again that's the problem and eradicate <laughs> or get cooked. I feel like that's pretty much how it always goes, right? It's never, it's never close. <laughs> it's either I roll or it just like, except for that time when we beat the Elite Four in Pokemon Stadium 2. That, that one was like, I think, all three of the last three matches were like super fucking close. All right, same logic here. A lot of flying types. Ente is German for duck. <laughs> hey, at least it's simple. I mean, Psyduck isn't exactly like complicated, right? All right, so I think same logic here. We probably lead with the Jinx. And then we need an answer for the Parasect Sill. So I think it's probably Jinx, Hitmonlee, Raticate, just to have the Hyper Fang. I think that's probably the right call. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We lead Jinx, Hitmonlee, Eradicate. Here's the first opponent of this gym series. The German names are better in most of the cases anyways, so. This is actually great for us. We're just gonna click Psychic. Vigorous attack. Fighting low from the word go. Bacon down on the word go. I hate that I'm doing this with Jinx. Just want you to know, but it's here. We're doing it. <laughs> Same. How will the type difference affect that? I want to conserve this jinx, so I'm gonna switch and eradicate. All for the Here's kids, the that's right. Oh, it's eradicate! Because eradicate is expendable. What now? A decent nice. Hit. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Yeah, the, the English version of the Pokemon show definitely censored a lot. Like, a lot. Body slam again. No para, no para, no para, no para. Thank you. There, it's a hit. What's this? Severe hit. Mm. What that was just average. Spilled water all over my uh, mouse pad. All right, so the Raticate goes down here, which is no big deal. We expected it to go down. We're going to send in the Hitmon Lee next. Use high jump kick, finish this thing off. Hopefully, it also doesn't have dig. Because if I use high jump kick and it digs, we're going to have a bad time. Like a real bad time. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing that the uh, the animations in this look better than the most recently the released Switch game, isn't it? Are entirely different types. Body slam again. What will it do? Harsh 
Uh, I did a lot. They really should. That crit did not matter. <laughs> that crit did not matter. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. I imagine it's a flying type. Oh, it's Radicate. Interesting. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. Oh, Super Fang, we're fine. What now? Yeah, it's a hit. It would be fun. Whoa, that's tough. Back to back crits, huh? Why? Take it down with one hit. <laughs> and there back to back crits, huh? Let's go. Yeah. One, well, everybody thought it was coming. They thought they were going to release it for the GameCube. <laughs> no, Mr. Mimes, please. I already have a Jinx. I feel like I feel like that's good enough. I feel like that's good enough. All right, so this one, we got three Pokemon that have weaknesses to electric attacks. We do not have electric Pokemon though, so that doesn't matter. Uh, weak to fighting, weak to fighting. So Kabutops has an has a possibility here. Probably not though. Executor, good against Hitmonchan, Kabutops, Polyrath, Magneton, weak to Firo. Firo feels like a decent lead for this team, too. Jinx is good again. I think Jinx and Executor are locks. Oh, absolutely, J. Smith. Like, 100%. Like, <laughs> if, there's a, if there's any inkling, I'd just be like, sign me up. I'm in. Let me do it. Let me do it. I'm in. I want in. <laughs> Chan Mania. <laughs> How about Alfir? Ow! Fear! <laughs> um, it's probably not Hitmonlee this time around. I think it's Kabutops. Just for the Fearo, right? Just to have an, an option for the Fearo. Let's rock and roll. Oh, I know. Listen, Jason, if I'm getting paid for it, it's a very different conversation. <laughs> uh, I think we just... Special stats are combined in this one. Do I actually go for the lovely kiss here? I feel like that's a throw. Let's go for the psychic. The first move. The huge, huge! Don't paralyze me. Okay, Screech is fine. My defense is already low as shit. Oh, ah, get bodied. Welcome to my life, AI. What now? The bear hit. Nice. Miss again. What that? Defense is down. Defense is down. We're good. We're going to click Ice Beam this time around just in case of the unlikely scenario that he switches. Did not. Perfect. Good deal. Oh, Ice Punch. There, it's a hit. Oh, is it down and out? Here we go. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Megaton. <laughs> That's like worst case scenario, I think. Because I don't really want to leave the Jinx in, but I also don't want to switch. Let's go with the lovely kiss here. No, 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 
<laughs> no! Stop! Don't do this, please. No. No evasion. Stay asleep. Motherfucker. <laughs> Forget it. I'm done. Psychic. Forget it. Unbelievable. Three sleeps, all first turn wake ups. Unbelievable. So un incredibly unlucky. Unbelievable. With the screech, this probably kills. Oh, it didn't. Okay. I cannot believe that. Tongue licky, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You couldn't change nicknames in the first generation, could you? That's annoying. <laughs> wait, no, wait, 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 wait. There is a name raider in uh, in Lavender, wasn't there? Oh, it's Pitmon Chai. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. This fight was a meme. The battle has become one-sided. Thank goodness for no priority tax on Hitmonchan. Woo! <laughs> and there goes the battle! The Jinx sweep, let's go. That was a meme. <laughs> My goodness. Ah, what's the third trainer have? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Um. It's a Jinx lead again, like guaranteed, because Jinx is good against Odrio, good against Tentacruel, good against Zapdos. Can manage. Omastar can manage Pinsir. And like Clefable is really the only option or only problem there, which I will bring Hitmonlee specifically for Clefable. Just Clefable. Like I have to have an answer for Clefable. Clefable is a problem. You're probably right, Jay Smith. <laughs> I think I have to have a second answer to Kabuta, or I'm sorry, to Zapdos, and I don't really. So I think I just have to bring an Executor and pray. Is the answer, I think. Yep. Because it's got Drill Pack too, so it's at, it has a response. But I'll at least be able to put it to sleep with Hypnosis. Maybe I can stall it out with Leech Seed. Okay. <clears throat> uh, probably not the worst matchup to, that we could have gotten, but it's not great. Um, we probably want to put it to sleep here. But I'm probably... Oh, man. Do I just Psychic twice? I just move on. It's got a submission here for sure. I think we just psychic twice. Right? <laughs> like even Giovanni knows that his fucking henchmen are terrible. Yeah, it's a two hit. Okay. Oh, slash. That's worse. That's an auto crit. And that's why I think that like the crit stuff still broken, Ratchet, if you're lurking. Because slash is still an auto crit in stadium. Nice, nice crit, Jinx. Thanks. Oh, is it down and out? Plus, Jinx's psychics have crit like seven times. <laughs> what will the next Pokemon be? Yeah, you seem good enough. Get up here. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Omastar, we're definitely it faster then. I feel ride. like we probably have to play for the sleep here. Because it's going to be faster than the Executor, and it's going to have Ice Beam. Um... Each other yeah, back. fuck it. Uh, big dick play. Let's go. We're playing for Giovanni. Oh, what a lovely hit! Oh no, it fell asleep. It's fast asleep. Hallelujah. Falling asleep is going to make this a one-sided fight. What's next? A crit and special fell? Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Goodbye, Omastar. It sure is sweeping through these uh these fights at least, for sure. 
number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's Flippable! Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. <laughs> the remaining Pokemon count is three to one. I fucking knew the it. The battle has become one <coughs> What'll it do? Ooh, big loss. The move failed to click. Fun. Right, Thunderbolt! There, it's a hit. It's finally taken down. All right, so very likely that this thing has Fire Blast. I am going to just With send in the um, the Hitmon lead, though. I just go for the uh, go for the high jump kick here. Oh, it's Hitmon lead. Yeah, big the loss. Always got to end with a nine. Always got to end with a nine. Oh, I'm faster. Super effective. Ooh, it didn't kill it. And it doesn't have a uh, psychic. Okay. <clears throat> Would be unstoppable if we had Mr. Mime as well. You know, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to disagree. But, uh, you know, you're welcome to your opinion. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't get through with that laughing. I'm sorry. There we go. We're off to Giovanni. Is it down and out? The fable is the worst. <laughs> Look at this. We're getting it done. There we go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, Gold Duck does have Surf. Kabutops does ha, does have Hydro Pump, but its special stat is terrible. So Kabutops is not in this party. Not happening, right? <clears throat> big threats. Doug Trio, Tauros, right? Those are the big threats. So we need to have answers for both of those Pokemon. Doug Trio's really only big attacks are going to be Earthquake, probably Fisher. Thanks to Jinx. You're not wrong, Leon. Yeah, it's probably because Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Executor has got to be on the team. So does Jinx. And I think Hitmonlee. I think that's the team. Which is weird. I would think that Golduck would be but make this team. <clears throat> but I don't think that it uh, it helps us a whole lot. Its speed stat's not that high. It will be faster than Nidoqueen, than Rhydon, than, than Nido King, right? It'll be faster than all three of those. And Executor won't. <clears throat> but Executor resist round attacks, right? Um, and it's just a little bit more bulky than Golduck is. It's got 178 HP versus 163, and it's got 114 defense versus 107. So it's just slightly bulkier. I think that's probably the right call. Even though Surf is significantly stronger than Mega Drain, Executor's got almost 50 more special attack. Plus Leech Seed, Hypnosis... I think it's the better call. Do I lead Executor here? And try to scout out? I think that's probably the team, right? The only thing that I would consider over, over the Executor is Golduck at this point, and I don't think Golduck is the answer here. Yeah, I think this is it. And if it does, I'm fine, right? I'm fine. Because I don't, I don't actually want Hitmonlee to go in on Tauros right away. Because uh, I don't want Hitmonlee to get fucking crit or some shit, right? And if I lead with Hitmonlee, he's just going to lead with, like, Rhydon or some shit. <laughs> or Nidoqueen or Nidoking, right? It'd probably be Nidoqueen, with my luck. So I think, uh, and Hitmonlee into one of those two matchups is terrible, right? It would be okay with Rhydon, but it would be a two-hit kill versus a one. And if y'all remember from Pokemon Stadium 2, High Jump Kick is not a one-hit kill on the Tauros. Um, I needed to have him meditate up to get it done. But I would rather have Hitmonlee come in and counter to knock it out, as long as it doesn't miss again. Yeah, let's do it. This is it. The final gym leader, Javani, the dawn of Brown Pokemon. Did, did that man just say Javani? Nice call, by. He did lead the Horos. All right, so I think it's just, I think it's just Hypnosis here. Oh no! This can't miss. Okay. 
<clears throat> that was so bad. I did. I was not expecting Blizzard. Good deal. Neither one is conceding an eight. Yeah, so this is the thing. So if we can whittle this thing down a bit so that, um, perfect. Perfect. If we can whittle this thing down a little bit so that Hitmonlee can knock it out with a high jump kick, this is huge. Yeah, we're in a really good spot right now. We're in a really good spot. This will put us back in range where a blizzard won't kill us unless it crits. Even with a crit, now we'll survive. Huge. That's huge. All right, the Tauros is down. Unless it freezes us, which I guess is still a possibility. Now we're good. All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Great job, team. Wow, Mega Drink. Good hit. That's huge. Because Tauros was easily the biggest threat on his team. What will the yep. Yeah, 270% chance to hit hits. Yep. And one was a crit. Oh, it's Nido King. Nido King. Oh, so this is actually good for us. It's not good for Executor. Executor's in trouble. <laughs> but it's great for us because Jinx can come in on this and sweep this up easy. It also has Blizzard. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. It can't make a move. The heated battle rages on. I guess I did. <laughs> now he misses, right? Oh, it's another miss. Will this ice ever melt? Yeah, get it out of your system, Nido King. Miss it all now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Pokemon Stadium Random Team Challenge is on the Wheel of Games that we're doing today for the charity stream, Kairos. Uh, so we ended up, uh, somebody spent $25 to pick this. So now we are playing this. We're locked into this until about two minutes ago. But if anybody donates $10, I've got to switch to a different game, whatever the wheel spins on. There it finally goes. Good dodging while you're frozen, Executor. Great job. Great job. Pokemon is coming out. So it's just Jinx. We just use Psychic. Hope for the crit here. Oh, it's Jinx. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Great call. There's the attack. Special stat, Special stat falling is good, but if it hits the if it hits the horn drum, fucked. Miss. So the good news here is we're going to use Psychic on this Needle King. It's going to knock it out, and we are not going to take uh, poison damage because that's how Gen 1 worked. I was too, Kairos. <laughs> I was not excited. Persian's last Pokemon. We do have Hitmonlee in the back. We should be in good, in good shape. We're just going to do damage here. Go with the Psychic. I think it outspeeds. Yeah. I don't think a Slash Crit kills, though. Nope. Good. We get one Psychic off. Hope for the Crit. Nope. But that puts it in range for Hitmonlee. Lee. What a flash! Powerful strike! Good deal. Oh, is it down all right, it all comes down to hitting this uh the hitting this high jump kick. Oh, it scares me too. <laughs> are down to their last scares me too. Hi Chelsea, how are you? Welcome on in. Happy Sunday. Oh, it's hit on lead. 
But remember, I used counter last time and counter missed. So I'm not clicking it again. Here comes the slash. This is an automatic crit. There it goes. Miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Got it. It's over. Woo! We're off to the four, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We did it. How about that? The Jinx coming in clutch. Hitmon Lee did a lot of work in that uh, in that setup inside of matches too. Here's the last castle. I am having I am having flashbacks right now. <laughs> All right. Just a reminder for folks watching: if you do a ten dollar donation, we spin the wheel, and you can save me for myself. <laughs> Very unfortunately. All right, so this is probably where this team loses. Just being honest, just being honest. We don't really have an answer for slow bro. Uh, Jinx is also a problem. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Hitmonlee does do well in the Dugong Cloister and Lapras. I talked so much yesterday. It's, it's a very real chance that I might lose my voice today. Just throwing that out there. Very real chance. Uh, Jinx is going to be on the team no matter what, right? Just because it's the best Pokemon on this team. Um, hit on Lee too, and I think, man, this is tough. We really don't have an answer for the slow bro. Answer for the slow bro, at all. I guess I have to bring the executor, but like everything's going to have really know what else to do. I mean, we could bring the Kabu tops in, but. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be the answer either. They've all got water attacks or some kind of coverage. Hmm. Disable kind of niche. I don't think that's going to help. Eradicate doesn't have anything super big either. It's going to be playing around sleep. I think that's the only way that we win this. <clears throat> is trying to play around sleep. And having the executor for the slow bro, I think is important. So we're going to bring the executor. And cross your fingers, folks. If we get past this, we have a real chance to sweep through the rest of the Elite Four. This isn't the worst start. This isn't the worst start. This is actually pretty good for us. So I don't think that Articuno can do that much damage to me. I think I can just click Psychic here. Yeah, switch. Yep. This is going to slow, bro, for sure. Just hope for the special drop. That's all we need. Oh, Lapras. Lapras? Okay. Lapras is pretty tanky. Here's the first move. Huge. Huge. We're just gonna psychic twice. Knock this thing out. Yeah, maybe not. That would be huge for us. What now? Let's fucking go, baby. Yes! Is it down and out? How wild would it be if we just finished this today? <laughs> Lundy, welcome on in. <laughs> welcome back, Articuno. The remaining Pokemon count Thanks for the 100 bits, Lundy. Appreciate it. Two. Here we go. This battle is still up in the air. A decent hit. Yikes. <laughs> it's building energy for the next attack. That makes sense. Neither one is conceding an inch. Get absolutely, absolutely punished! <laughs> Let's go! It's special stat is huge. And now it's less. So the question that I have now is... Okay, so it does still have Sky Attack up. I think I have to put it to sleep again, but I'm not, I don't want to. <laughs> 
I just, I don't think so, Kairos. I'm not 100% on that, but I do not think so. Um, man. What's the play here? Lovely Kiss is 75% accuracy, so, like, it's a pretty high chance to hit. And if it stays asleep, if it stays asleep after the Lovely Kiss, it's a guaranteed knockout on the Articuno. If I, if I hit Psychic and I don't crit, and Sky Attack hits and kills the Jinx, I think I just lose, right? Because I don't think Hitmonlee... Well, Hitmonlee probably outspeeds Articuno, right? Certainly it does. Articuno's not that fast. What's the matter, trainer? And it would use Sky Attack again, right? I'm gonna go for the Psychic. I think Hitmonlee outspeeds. What's this? That is bad. That's really unfortunate. Maybe it'll miss? Didn't? Okay, that's okay. We should be fine. Yeah, I think it's the slowest out of the three. And it's just Hitmonlee here every time. <clears throat> the question is, does Strength do 18 damage? With 145 attack stat? I think it does. I think it does. I do outspeed. Nice. Nice. Okay. As long as this last Pokemon is not slow, bro, we're in good state. We're in a good space. If it's slow, bro, it's a little bit. It's a little bit of a. Uh, it's a little cringe. Cloyster. So Cloyster is a problem too, but less so. We're just gonna go ahead and click high jump kick. Not gonna think about it. Accuracy for high jump kick is ninety percent. Okay, one more. Okay, it used Spike Cannon for some reason. Why did it use Spike Cannon? <laughs> Here's the high jump kick, takes out the Cloyster. What can I say? <laughs> Lorelei's down. Huh. For what it's worth, because this is a charity stream, right? I just want to point this out. For what it's worth, if we have to spin the wheel, I can just save the spot. We don't lose this. We can still come back to the team. It doesn't go away. I'm just saying it's still going to be here. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way. Jinx is good against all these Pokemon. So Jinx is the lead. Makes that easy, right? Jinx is the easy one. Executor probably comes as well for similar reasons. And last Pokemon's probably Golduck, honestly. I think this is the one the one thing where Golduck comes. I, I don't think we need the Hitmonlee here against the, uh, the Onix, the Golem, and the Rhydon. I think we're good. And Jinx outspeeds all of these. So we should be in good shape. We should. The next adversary is Bruno. He is one rugged opponent. It does have Hydro Pump, but its special stat is only 98. <clears throat> ah, this is an easy psychic click. A psychic flash! Oh, if that one hit the hit on Chan, this guy is doomed. <laughs> if a non crit just one hit the hit on Chan, he is doomed. Golem comes in. Uh, ice punch stab super effective is super is better than psychic here, so we go for ice punch. Ooh, it didn't kill it. Goodbye, Jinx. <laughs> uh oh. Wow, they're down. They're both down. 
That's bad. What will the next Pokemon be? Ah, uh, it's Executor, for sure. <clears throat> oh, it's Executor! And uh, Kabutops is actually faster than you'd think. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not even going to bother putting the this to sleep. I'm just going to Mega Drain twice. <clears throat> it probably has Bind. I should be a little bit more careful, but... Right. <laughs> the Mega Drain might actually just knock it out outright. Yeah, it did. That may have been my least stressful fight in this entire challenge. All right, Agatha is going to have a bunch of poison types. We're going to see Arbok, Golbat, uh, Gengar, Venusaur, Haunter, Muck. Cruising. Okay, so... Main threat on this team is Gengar, but ghost attacks didn't really exist in Generation 1. The only one that did was Lick and Nightshade. So, yeah, we cruised through that one. It's probably just lead Jinx again. I'm trying to not be lackadaisical here, right? Like, the Jinx lead in this fight and the Jinx lead in the Lance fight both seem very obvious. I just don't want to overthink this. I don't want to push it too fast either. So, Jinx is the lead. Automatic, right? What's next? Venusaur is a problem, right? Venusaur is a problem. We can, it makes it hard to bring Golduck with Venusaur on the team. It's not Raticate, is it? That's kind of cringe. It kind of is, though, isn't it? Because it has Dig. And Dig would be good against, like, Haunter. <clears throat> um, Executor is a bring for sure as well. God, it might be Raticate. Oh my goodness gracious, I don't want to do it. Because I think Kabutops is a trap. We can't bring Hitmonlee. The reason why we can't bring Hitmonlee, just for the folks that are wondering, um, Gengar and Haunter will both have Psychic. Golbat will have Wing Attack. They'll have options, right? <clears throat> yeah, Gengar, Gengar can be pretty weird. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely like... Man. It's definitely the bring. I mean, Raticate's just faster than everything on my team. And having the speed advantage, I think Raticate would outspeed Haunter. I think it would. It won't outspeed Gengar, but nothing on my team will, right? Nothing on my team is going to outspeed Gengar. Next up, this is how I felt when I brought a Totodile in the last fight of the uh, the Elite Four. <laughs> All right, I think we don't. I don't think we have room to be uh, to be cute here. I think we just psychic. This is silly. There's nothing she can switch into that wants to take a psychic from a Jinx. That was dumb. Yeah, the championship fight, yeah. Yeah, that Arbok's just dead. I can't believe it survived the first one, to be honest with you. But, like, now it's just dead. It's not, it's not faster than Jinx. She just lost the Pokemon for free. That also happened in the Lance fight. Is it down and out? What will the next Pokemon be? She'll go back to Gengar. No, she oh, won't. Go back. We just How Psychic again. She kind of did. She kind of did throw. The That's a crit. The Goodbye, Pokemon Golbat. Hey, I was scared of what? Gengar, but I'm not scared of Gengar when it's three versus one. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Jinx? Really? <laughs> There's nothing left in reserve. The remaining Pokemon count we just psychic. three to one. The battle has become one -time. There's the psychic. 24 damage. 
vigorous attack. That one hurt. Big crit. Goodbye, Gengar. Oh, <laughs> Goodbye, Gengar. Well, well, well. <laughs> huh. All right. Well, here's Lance. Yeesh. Okay. No Dragonite? Oh man, this team's scary. Oh, I don't have an answer for Gyarados. Hmm. Because that Gyarados is going to have Earthquake, I think. This might be the one... Man, it would be the one time I would bring Kabutops and it doesn't have a rock move. Oh man. That's such a bummer. Because Gyarados' special defense is actually uh, surprisingly high. Uh-huh. Yeah, either that or the Aerodactyl, both of which are very big threats to my team. So, do we get cute is the answer. Do we get cute? Do we lead the Executor to preserve the Jinx? Because Jinx loses to two Pokemon, right? Loses to Aerodactyl, loses to Charizard. But Jinx should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lapras, Dragonair, Gyarados pretty easily. Kangaskhan I'm worried about all around, but I think Hitmonlee answers that. And Hitmonlee's good against Lapras, neutral against Dragonair, loses to the three flying types. Executor lead feels pretty right. I think the only thing that I would be sad about with the Executor lead is if it leads the Charizard. It can take the Gyarados, Leon, but I think the problem with the Executor and the Gyarados fight is the Gyarados could have a Flamethrower, Fire Blast. Like, those are options, right? Gyarados has access to those moves. This is a tough fight. Hmm. The problem is, is I would lead the Jinx right that would be my lead in this matchup but if he leads aerodactyl into jinx the jinx loses and then i just lose outright i don't think i can take that chance i would rather throw executor out have it die and then be able to switch the jinx and the hitmonlee into a matchup that i want and then just pray for some decent rng I think that's probably the answer. I think we lead Executor, we go into Jinx, and then we go into Hitmonlee. This is where this team struggles a little bit. Like, not having electric attacks is killing me. But I think this is it. I think this is it. Because Executor lets me scout out, and I need to scout. I can't afford to take the risk. Lapras. Okay, this is okay. It's going to have Blizzard, but that's fine. Need rat attack, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna have, it's gonna use Blizzard here, but that's absolutely fine. We're just gonna click Hypnosis. If the Executor goes down, I'm fine with that. Okay. If we hit Hypnosis here, it's huge. We did miss. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna hit Hypnosis again. We're gonna hope for a miss on the Blizzard. That's all we can do. Nope, no luck. Okay. Oh, is it down and out? Bad luck. What will the next Pokemon do? So now we go Hitmonlee. We just hit high jump kick. It's not going to knock the Lapras out in one hit, unfortunately. So we're going to have to try to dodge oh, Blizzard here. How will the type difference affect that? Crit would be big. Nope. Need a miss here. Got a miss. Okay. We got a chance. We got a chance. There we go. One for one. Oh, it's down. 
and didn't switch. So I don't think we're going to see a flying type coming out here. I don't think we're going to see a flying type coming out here because I think he would have switched into like Charizard. Gyarados is a problem. That is one of the flying types. <laughs> okay, so I have two options here. I can't really switch into the Jinx. So I have two options here. I can either go for the focus energy and start going for some lucky crits or I can click counter, hope it's using a physical attack and just go for it. I don't think it's gonna use a physical They're attack here. Each other down. Do I just high jump kick? I feel like I need the crits. Trainer hasn't issued an order. Just go for the high jump kick. Let's just go for DPS. Let's out DPS this thing. If we can set this up for Jinx, I think Jinx has a chance to sweep. Big crit, huge crit. That matters so much. Miss this. Damn it. Wow. Really? That shocks me. I can't believe Hydro Pump killed Kipmonlee from a Gyarados. Yeah, I guess so. That's crazy. The tenth battle um, I don't think Psychic kills from here unless we crit, but I have to go for it. I can't afford to go for the lovely kiss at, the, at this range. We gotta hope for the crit. No crit. That's not good. Body slam. If we get paralyzed, it's over. That's it, everybody. Dang it. Dang it. That's unfortunate. Body Powerful strike. Dang. Oh, so close. Is it down and out? So close. <laughs> and there goes the it wasn't meant to be, yeah. I know I probably should have went for the lovely kiss there, but it's fine. It's fine. I think we would have lost anyway. Not having the Hitmonlee and the Kangaskhan would have probably been the uh, the end of it. I don't think the Jinx would have beaten the Kangaskhan one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think it would have beat it one-on-one. -on -one. Bummer, dude! That was a good run. That was a good run.